Most people don't realise that many cyclists do actually have an insurance policy in place that will deal with third party damages such as this, many without realising that they actually have it. Before we get into the detail though, if you enjoy my liability reviews, do make sure to drop a follow. So a cyclist is involved in a situation where they've caused damage to a third party, whether that be their property or to a person themselves by way of an injury to the person. This is a relatively rare occurrence, but it does happen now and again. And a lot of cyclists who ride regularly, for instance, commuting or those who cycle regularly long distance will hold dedicated insurance via cycling clubs or personally. However, many fair weather cyclists and even children riding a bicycle will also hold an insurance policy that covers for third party damage. Damages. If the person riding the bicycle lived in a property that has home insurance, usually the content side of the policy, that will likely have a public or personal cover included that will cover occupants of the household causing damage to a third party while cycling. This is not to be confused with optional add-ons for covering damage to the bicycle itself, that is something completely unrelated. This is public or personal liability that comes as standard with most home insurance contents policies. It's not even directly linked to cycling, it's a catch-all public or personal liability policy that covers accidental damage by a person. Say you're walking down the path and you slip on black ice, instinctively grabbing the wing mirror of a car for balance but end up ripping it from the car itself. It's accidental damage. That public liability insurance will cover that damage. Or you've just rushed out of the house because you're late for the bus. You've got a bag with some metal charms dangling from it and you're off balance a little bit and faffing with trying to get your coat zipped up. The metal charm on your bag scrapes along Mr. Smith's Jaguar, scratching the paint of his car. That public liability insurance will cover it. Or you're too busy in your house admiring your live, laugh, love sign and your kid is on the street trying to roll a blade without supervision and they clatter into Betty next door's Nissan Note, putting a huge dent in the door. That public liability insurance would cover it. Naturally, there are a lot of exclusions. For instance, the damage can't be as a result of owning or using anything motorised such as electric scooters or bicycles, drones, RC cars or planes, etc. Owning or using a caravan or a firearm or an aircraft. But for the everyday Joe blogs walking down the street or cycling on the road with a normal pedal bicycle, then they probably have public or personal liability cover if they live in a house that has content insurance. I just know that those with unconscious bias towards cyclists will be all over this video, so if you're going to mention road tax, it was abolished in 1937. The roads and infrastructure is paid for from the general taxation pot, so everybody pays for the roads, so everybody can use them. If you're going to say that insurance should be mandatory for cyclists, cyclists do not cause the millions of pounds worth of damage to property and injury every day that motor vehicles do, which is why there's no reason to make it mandatory. The cost involved in setting up such a scheme would be more expensive than the damage caused by cyclists over a number of years, so it wouldn't even be a good use of taxpayers' money because the taxpayer would be at a significant loss. If you're going to whine on and say that cyclists constantly break road laws and you see so many going through red lights, that's what too many years of absorbing anti-cycling rubbish will do to you. If you think cyclists' use of the road and the road laws is bad, by God, you should see what car drivers do. That will blow your mind. Obviously, I don't ride a bicycle. It probably wouldn't do me any harm, but it doesn't stop me from being objective and thinking critically when it comes to these kind of issues. Lovely jubbly, sound as a pound.